Grace, was going out for a walk when out of nowhere, this happens. I'm currently having a little bit of a mental, like, moment. I was driving home from work. It's ah! Holy shit! Oh my god! 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 Holy shit! Oh my god! 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 Holy fucking shit! Oh my god! There was. Oh my god. That was not. That was not normal. Oh my god. I. I. Holy. I just saw something. I just saw something. And I'm really fing terrified. The scariest part about this video isn't Grace's reaction to the hooded figure who according to Grace, didn't look like a person, but rather, the whisper she heard when she got inside her car. I'll play the clip in case you missed it. Oh my god. Oh my god. Now if that's not creepy, then I don't know what is. And Bucky 99 was out with some friends visiting a mausoleum in Summers, Connecticut when they encounter something pretty spooky. And Bucky writes, When we approach the fence and begin speaking, there is a scuffle from inside. This is followed by footsteps that sounded like they were running towards us. All right, so we're at the Keeney Mausoleum. Is anybody here? Hello? Would anyone like to say something? Can you say it? Holy <laughs> shit! Oh my god. <laughs> dude, that was insane! Oh my god, that's not real, dude. Dude, I got- Some viewers think that the shuffling was made by one of his friends. But N. Bucky assures them that his friends did not make those sounds. If it wasn't them, then who? Donnie Drunkard has been experiencing strange activity at home. He's been documenting all the strange things that have been happening. However, his most recent video captures something that is beyond belief. This may just be the most compelling piece of evidence I've seen in a while. Check it out. Who's here? What's your name? above me. Oh my god. The cool thing about this video is that Donnie was live streaming when this happened. This means that Donnie could not have manipulated the footage. What he caught is what he saw. No gimmicks whatsoever. And best of all, those who've seen this live stream can attest to the authenticity of the video. All in all, it's pretty spooky. I'm interested in hearing what your thoughts are on this. Reddit user Katie received a voice message from her friend Cassie, who was stuck in traffic due to a fatal car accident that just occurred. When Katie played the message, this is what she heard. It was some type of like almost like a trailer, like something like a trailer would, like would have been carrying or something like a I don't know, like a, like a 
It sounds like someone else is breathing on the other end. The breathing starts soon after the cell's reception is lost. It's almost as though a ghost manipulated the cell's service as a means to communicate with Katie's friend. Whether or not that's the case is up to you to decide. But when you consider the fatal accident that Katie's friend saw, you can't help but wonder if this message came from the other side. If there's a place that I'd stay away from at all cost, it would be Indian burial grounds. And this next video explains this reason. Detective Mocha was exploring a cabin that was located on Native American grounds. The cabin was abandoned soon after a family died there. A father killed his own family and took his own life in the basement, which is where Detective Mocha was conducting an EVP session. But, little did he know, that something unexpected would occur during this session. Take a look. All the way over here on this side. Oh shit, I heard something. What the fuck? What the fuck? You guys heard that? Now that's scary. Of course, what are your thoughts? YouTuber Tech Rax went to a boiling hot spring in Nevada known as the Devil's Cauldron and dropped an iPhone inside it while it was recording. When he retrieved the phone, he was shocked to see what he captured. Have a listen. If those aren't screams, then I don't know what are. It could be that these so-called screams are actually the vibrations of the fishing line that was attached to the phone. But others disagree, thinking that these might be actual screams. If so, then this has got to be the eeriest footage out there of mysterious screams caught on camera. Reddit user Anon123 writes, I was looking at apartments to rent online, when suddenly... Now that's creepy. This could be a case of pareidolia, which is a tendency to see faces in everyday objects. This could also be the reflection of the person who took this photo. But if you look closely, there doesn't appear to be any glass on the door. How can there be a reflection if there's nothing to reflect on? This one's pretty strange. User Chocolate Milk Mix captures one of the many strange occurrences that have been taking place in her home. Chocolate writes, I finally got something from two angles. There is no way my husband will argue. I caught this using Alfred, a camera app. Here's the footage that was captured.
Having two cameras really does help in trying to prove this. But it'd be a lot more compelling if a third camera was placed at an angle where both sides of the counter can be seen. In this way, we know for sure that there was no one pushing the bag. As far as authenticity goes, viewers can't seem to find anything that can prove this as fake. Mason DeVos was working a night shift when he saw something that scared the living daylights out of him. Misty as f out. And what the f***? It's been moving back and forth and shit. Just looking at me. There appears to be someone in the distance. However, this individual seems to be really tall. And what makes this even more strange is that he was in the middle of nowhere doing who knows what. But what would you do in a situation like this? Would you ignore this creepy apparition or call it a day and leave work, as Mason thought of doing? I for sure would have left in an instant. But nonetheless, this video is pretty creepy. Take a look at this photo and see if you can spot anything unusual. Do you see it? Well, how about now? There appears to be a sickly looking person in the background. The person who posted this states that she went to an abandoned hospital with some friends and took this photo. The ghostly figure in the background went unnoticed until she went back home and looked closely at the image. It sure is scary, but I see nothing wrong with someone who just wanted to be part of the group. The more the merrier, as the saying goes. Just like the ocean, the sky itself contains many mysteries. From UFOs to floating cities, the sky is a vast sea of hidden mysteries. But, as if the sky wasn't mysterious enough, Ian from California captures the following footage. It appears as though the sound of trumpets is playing in the sky. Ian has no idea as to where they were coming from. He thinks that it might have been the movement of tectonic plates that were making these sounds. But if that were the case, then there'd have to be an earthquake, which didn't occur. Ian hopes to get answers to this strange phenomenon. With that said, what do you think? The following video was submitted by Pablo Boy 190 who along with his submission, writes, A while back, about a year ago, me and my brother were playing Madden, and he decided to record me because I was raging, and we looked back at the video, and we heard these screams. No one else was in the house except for me and my brother, and we can't explain what we heard that night. Here's the video. What are your thoughts? In Mineral Wells, Texas, there's a house that is known to be a hotspot for paranormal activity. There's always something going on in this house. But just recently, the owners of this house, which goes by the name of Haunted Hill House, shared footage of what might just be the scariest thing they've encountered. A group of tourists who were conducting their own paranormal investigation encountered something really terrifying. Check this out. As you can see, she was yanked off the bed. This was not a fall. And then they ran out. We're going to rewind that and we're going to show you in regular screen at 2.15.41. Rewind it one more time. 
You're like, where'd she go? <laughs> he just looks over and she's gone. As you can see, there was nobody next to her to pull her off the bed. Some think that she could have done this herself, but I highly doubt it. The way she falls off seems as though someone yanked her off the bed. But I'll let you decide as to whether or not that's the case. If anything, at night, I find myself tucking my legs under my blanket, away from the edge, which really says something about this video. Thanks for watching. And until next time.